Hi, welcome to the series of Jasper reports. In this session, we are going to discuss about composite element in Jasper Soft Design Studio. The agenda for this session is, firstly, I will walk you through the basics of composite element. Then we will see an example on how we can create a composite element to reuse the design. Let's get started. Composite element. Composite element is a user created element in the palette. We can create composite element using one or more basic elements. The basic purpose of composite element is to reuse the design in any of the similar reports. For instance, we can create a composite element using static text field and a text field. Basically, composite element is an, is an exportable file and the extension as we create the composite element is .jsse. So the detailed documentation link is provided in the slide. You could go through this documentation for more information on the composite element. Now, let us move on to the example. So in the example that I am going to demonstrate, we are going to use text field and static text field to create a composite element. And once we have the composite element, we are going to see the options related to that. So to start with, let's create a blank report. From the studio, click on the file, new Jasper report. Then select the blank report from the report templates, click on next. Let's save this report as composite element. We create composite element within the JRXML, but we can use the same JRXML for our actual reporting purposes. So let us see how we can do that. So I'm going to save this report under reports folder of Jasper reports 2021. So click on next. Then we can skip providing data adapter because our initial objective is to create a composite element. Then we will try to make use of created composite element in another JRXML or within the same JRXML. So for now, let us skip the data adapter. So click on next and then click on finish. We are going to keep the text field and static text field in the title band. And we are going to create the composite element based on the based on the elements that we are going to keep in the title band. That means let's select the text field and drag it onto the title band. Let's give it a common title for the similar reports. For instance, I am going to give some text something like Jasper reports training. And let's quickly format this text. So I'm going to pronounce it as a common report title for many of the reports in our projects. And uh, generally a report can have a subtitle. So in the subtitle, what I'm going to keep is Java-based open source reporting. Let's quickly format this one. So to create the composite element based on these two basic elements, we need to multi-select the elements from the title band. So before doing that, let us remove the unnecessary bands from the uh, report or we could keep them. So there is no problem even if we are keeping these uh, additional bands. 
So multi-select these elements, which is uh, text fill and static text fill. Right click on the selection and we can see a, an option called save as composite element. So the composite element settings have name, description, and icon and position in the palette. So the default position in the palette is composite elements. We already have a section called as composite element. And as we save this composite element, it will go and sit in this particular section. So composite element, title and subtitle. Okay, it looks like I have already created a similar one. So let's click on the cancel and let us remove this from the report. So now to make a composite element on the selection, right click on the selection, then click on save as composite element. So I'm going to name it as title and subtitle. common report title and subtitle. In the D drive, I have, uh, not in the D drive, in the pictures folder, I have downloaded a picture. What is the picture name? Let's sort it with the date. Okay, let me check in the downloads, documents, pictures. So let us take an image, report icon. So let's take this image. Snipping. Save this icon in the D drive. So in the D drive, I have saved an image and I'm going to give this icon for the composite element that we are uh, creating. So let's click on finish. So we can see that the information is displayed here. Composite element created correctly you can find it inside the selected area of the palette. The selected area for the, the selected area while we creating the composite element is composite element section in the palette. And we can see the created composite element, which is composite element title and subtitle here. Now, what we can do is we can select this one and then open in the designer. So as we open it separately, we can see uh, only the title band and within the title band, we can see uh, the text field and the static text field. And the extension for the composite element is JSSC. Now, we can go back to the composite element report and we can remove this one and what we can do is we can simply take this composite element and drag it onto the title band. So the observation here is that as we drag and release this composite element, which is the user created element and to the title band, we can see that that static text field and the text field is showing up on the title band. Now uh, we can continue to uh, work on the other reporting part. For example, uh, now let us provide the query for the main report. For that, select the, select the root node, which is nothing but the uh, report name and right click on it and then click on data set and query. 
uh, optionally we can uh, click on this icon here so let's click on data set inquiry select star from product limit 10 and uh, we need to ensure that the right data source is selected on the top left corner and then click on the read fields here so preview the data then click ok and let's push few records few fields from the fields node to the detail band so product id product name gross weight and net weight and drag the selection onto the detail band remove the entity spaces save this report and preview it so this out just looks fine to me with the report title and with the report subtitle where these are coming from the composite element. Now, what I can do is I can create another copy of this same report, composite element two. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to remove this text field in the second report. And I'm going to remove the column header, detail header pans and I'm going to add summary band. So let's remove this one. Now we have a clean report, which we named it as composite element two. So in this new JRXML, we are again going to create, we are again going to reuse the, uh, reuse the text field and static text field based on the composite element and in the summary band i am going to put a chart so i am going to keep a pie chart then click on next and main data set and the series sh should be series one click ok and the value is let's take gross weight click on finish then label should be something like brand name and then click on finish click preview series one is duplicated in pi data set this is a different issue here so here I am going to click brand name. Click OK, click finish, then click preview. Key Washington is duplicated in pie chart. So what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to change the query for this one. So for that, let's click on this one. No, this one, let's click on this data set. Select existing brand. And, uh, gross weight. So I'm going to take five records. So read fields. Data preview. We should be seeing five records, click OK. Then cross verify the chart elements here. Cross it, brand name, brand name. And here it should be series one. So the series one we can see by clicking on this one. So once we provide this key, it would automatically change to brand name from series one. 
So basically pie chart doesn't require any series. So as soon as we select the key, it will change from series one to brand name in the series section. So click on finish. Now we should be able to see the report output. Okay, so now we can see a report title and a subtitle and then a pie chart. So basically the objective here is we can reuse the code using composite element. So this is a composite element two report and this is a composite element one report. So this report title and the subtitle on the first report and the report title and the sub report basically coming from the composite element. So this is how we can create a composite element and reuse the same design uh, in multiple reports in the same project. Now, let us see how we can uh, perform some action based on this created composite element. So let's make the selection in the palette and we can export the composite elements. Let us export this. Export composite element, select the elements that will be exported, composite element title and this one. Basically, this is a zip supported export. So click on finish. And we can see save as type is zip here. So let us select the drive and save it here. So this is successfully exported and we can see the export here in the D drive composite element title and subtitle let's extract this one and see what it contains extra files okay so composite elements and we can see what are the resources we use it and we can see um, the image and the corresponding JRXML for this. So for example, uh, we have a common composite element created. And if you want to use that in a newly installed uh, Jasper Studio, what we can do is uh, we can import it. So we can right click on the empty space in the composite element and we can make use of the import composite element options to import into the particular JRXML. So if we don't want this uh, anymore, what we can do is we can delete it by right click on by right clicking on the composite element and then clicking on the delete option. So we can edit it as well. So we can rename it and we can change the description and we can change the icon and we can change the position as well. For example, if you want to keep in the basic elements, we can click on this basic elements, then click on finish. So now we should be able to see the composite element in the basic element section. So this is how uh, we can work out with composite element in the studio. So that's all for this session. I hope you're a little clear on what we saw in this session. Before we wrap up, let's do a quick recap of what we saw so far in this video. So switching back to the presentation, um, to recap, uh, we have seen the basics of composite element in first place. Then we have uh, seen how we can create a composite element to reuse the design. That's it for this session. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.